All right, folks. Today we're going to start on a project on an outboard motor, um, a Merc, and we're going to be replacing the reed valves. Now the reed valves are in the intake system. They're behind the carburetors. And there's, on a two-cycle engine, there's no mechanical valve train. Uh, the only thing stopping air from rushing backward through the carburetor is these little plastic well carbon fiber some kind of fancy material uh, your stock motor probably has stainless steel which is fine but in my mind my opinion after years of use the stainless being a metal is going to stress crack and uh, get in your engine and do irreparable damage quite possibly so two things the carbon fiber reeds are supposed to enhance performance slightly that's these guys right here and then if they do break and get in your engine they're not likely to do as bad a bad of damage as a piece of stainless steel would. Um, now I've assembled some of the key components you're going to need before you even think about starting. That's that's the reeds themselves, um, the gaskets, and these little locking washers. And this is a three-cylinder motor so everything is kind of in threes. We've got some thread locking compound that you'll need on reassembly. But for right now, let's get started on disassembly. Now, I've taken the cowling off the motor and I've disconnected the power, disconnected it from the battery. And the first item is to take this air box off. There's not an air filter on a boat motor like this. That uh, that box diffuses the sound or muffles the intake noise. Helps keep your motor quieter. There's one screw that holds that on the motor. And that comes off relatively easy. Get on this screw right here. Most all these fasteners are right handed, so it's righty tighty lefty loosey. Take this screw out, then this air box, you have to wiggle and jiggle and pull and get it just right. And then pop it. Whoop. And there we have it. It's loose. It's done. Now, I'm shooting this video alone by myself so I have to move the camera around quite a bit so there will be stops and starts and jerks and quirks just bear with me here but that's what you'll have you can basically see the three carburetors and their bore now the air tank is held on or the air tank the oil tank is held on by approximately two bolts the bolts are in the very top, they're 10 millimeter, and we're just going to take a quarter drive ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket and remove those. I'm just putting most of my parts down here in the well, the splash well of the boat. Now we'll have to move around to the other side of the motor and uh, remove a couple more items. <laughs> 